about the main topic. Seven, eight years ago, I developed this concept of bandwidth of time tolerance, BWTT. Now, the societies, only those societies will survive where the BWTT is almost zero. For example, when we want to start a program at 9.30, and we say the bandwidth of starting a program could be five minutes late. You have to give some time slot. Japanese say, in my subway system, bandwidth is maybe four seconds, five seconds, arrival time. So the bandwidth of time tolerance, suppose you say five minutes, I can start late. And suppose you come at 9.45, from 9.35 to 9.45, you are 10 minutes over the time. So 10 minutes over the time with the bandwidth of five minutes, you are 200% time overrun. 200%, 10 divided by five. If your society is going to make bandwidth of time tolerance one minute, and you come at 9.45, then you are 14 times late. 14 minutes late, divide by one. So only those societies will survive. There's no question about this. There is no exception to this, where the time is the strategic weapon. The tail of the time has come into the forehead. In order to catch time, you have to be ahead of time. This is the SME's poet in the 17th century who has said so. Time, the tail of the time has come to the forehead. In order to catch time, you have to be ahead of time. So the bandwidth of time tolerance is the key. But in the art domain, in the domain where there is no pressure, the bandwidth of time tolerance does not exist. When you are having meditation, when you are sitting next to the river, you are looking at the fall of the water, there is no time bandwidth there. It's only in the process, systems, technology that you look at this. Now with this, let me start this project mindset, the prerequisite in creating change. In 1999, I was asked to give a presentation to the Swedish companies in August 99 in Stockholm. And where are they and where are we? What do I teach them? Time, cost, quality? Absolutely rubbish. You don't show one, one watt of lamp to 100 watt lamp or Swedish companies are mature. I coined this word that time Project mindset, the key to competitiveness. And I brought the concept of more of philosophy rather than how to manage time and cost and what we did in BHL and how did I work, that was not relevant. And this presentation I have made many times from seven characteristics which was talked about in 99 August. Today we have developed 27 and out of that I'm going to show you 18 or 19. Now look at the whole VUCA environment. The whole world is going through this uncertainty. If you see the last World Economic Forum, there was a CNN, every time they were saying, where do you stand from one to 10? Everybody said, all the leaders were talking about uncertainty. Project management is uncertainty management because you deal with the future. The world project has come from a Latin world projectum to throw something forward. The project means future. Project management is future management, uncertainty is management, risk management. So the uncertainty, ambiguity, everything is not clear, dynamic interfaces, effect, not solution, political and external influences, technology life cycle, and the integration. All these things is making systems very complex. Environment is never so complex as today. Unprecedented rate of change. With Google, you can find anything you like. Data is going to be become your new oil. The old concepts of physical resource is going to be out. It is the soft resource which is going to dominate the society. The knowledge, the wisdom for which India is famous for. Our Shastras and Upanishads. They're not physical, they're all thought processes. Having said this, let me start with Vivekanand's main thing. Whatever we are now, whatever we are now is the result of our acts and thoughts in the past. And whatever we shall do, be in the future, will be the result of what we think and do now. What we, what we do now will be the future orientation. Because what we do now will become past. Tomorrow when comes, 
it will become past. So what we have inherited is based on what we did in the past. Now project management is the projection management. Project is projection. You are projecting your dream. We are projecting your dreams. We are projecting our vision. We are projecting abstract ideas. Whether it's a space or DRDO or Brahmos, whatever you name it, abstract ideas. Or we are projecting what is called strategies. Harvard Business Review, one year ago when they produced an article, in, they said 70% strategies fail. 70% strategies fail. Why? Disconnect, poor disconnect between strategies and projects. If strategies are no good at all unless they get translated through projects to implement. So these are the four levels of projection. And management is to awaken the dreams, to realize the vision, to concretize the abstract ideas, R&D to research to development, and strategies to be deliverable. His strategies must get delivered. Otherwise, as minister said today, everybody has 100 ideas. You do, 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 do. Ideas, there's no shortcoming. There's no shortfall. There's no shortage of that. Ideas, people can give thousands. But how to translate them into reality, into delivery, is the challenge. So this is where you go through four phases. Ideation, you may call it initiation, planning, implementation and optimization. How do we optimize resources? Resources are always going to be short supply, always. Never going to be in abundance, any resource, including capital or human resource or things like this. So this process you go through and you get the management part. 